all right hi everyone this is miss jackie behind the camera and this lady you are looking at her name is miss melissa and miss melissa is an animal groomer right right so she today she will be grooming this cute little puppy here i don't even know what <laughs> i don't even know what type of dog this is but um miss melissa the honors is yours go ahead and tell us a little more about yourself and what you'll be doing for us today okay guys good morning um as you already heard my name is melissa and i'm a pet groomer mostly dogs um this is my little friend tori say hi tori and tori already got her back and i'll be clipping her up a little bit not a lot not cutting her hair down her face just a little bit of trim and toenails and um brush her out properly and that will be it for her and um that, yeah basically that will be it for tori just brush down clip up and that will be it um, all right so while you work i will ask a few questions no problem like um how often is it recommended that you groom your pet mainly your dog in this case we are dealing with a dog, dog today so we'll stick to our questions being based specifically well it depends on how you treat your dog or how the dog treats his or herself mm -hmm. um for me personally i groom my dog every month because or if she go outside and get uh, messy, mm -hmm. I will bathe her again after a month. Um, I recommend every three weeks though because um, dogs don't have skin like humans, so they can't moisturize. Okay. So every three weeks is recommended. recommended. Um, basically, like I said, if they go out and make a mess of themselves, mm -hmm. you can give them a quick bath. But other than that, it's every three weeks. Every three weeks. For a bath or for grooming in general? For grooming in general. Okay. What type of dog is... What's her name again? This is Tori. Tori. What type of dog is Tori? Tori is a Shih Tzu Poodle. Okay. She has more Poodle than Shih Tzu. She has a more fluffy hair than yeah. a Poodle would. She looks like an expensive fur coat. She, she is. <laughs> <laughs> she is actually. Yes. She is, definitely is an expensive one. All right, so the tools that you're using for grooming, I notice you're using a scissors. Yes, um, to... it's a pro scissors. Um, I'm most professional use these. And, well, any scissors can be used for, for hair, mm -hmm. actually. But um, they have different types of scissors in which I don't have presently. Right. But um, I could always, you know, go on Amazon and order, you know, different types of scissors. Right. That you could get. You have the curved ones that most professional will use which it give you a more um angle and mm -hmm. especially when you're clipping up the face right and stuff like that so yeah okay well, how long and have you been doing grooming i've been doing grooming for over 15 years wow yes so you do have a good relationship with quite a few of these animals yes i do like this is my girl right here how long She's, have you been grooming her in particular? Tori is a lady. I recently have, I think it's last year, last year. I think it's almost a year now since I have Tori. Yes, mm -hmm. my memory served me right. But she's a good girl. Okay. Never had any problems grooming her, you know. Because I noticed she's not restrained or anything. No, she's she's good, pretty like I said, used she's to. She's a good girl. Yeah, so she's used to me grooming her. She comes every month since mm -hmm. she started with me she comes every month and i appreciate that with her mom she likes to keep tori all nice mm -hmm. and all groomed up and i appreciate that if the dog is not um groomed as often as he or she is to be groomed are there any possibilities of things that could happen as a result of that yes what could happen is they will get matted hair the hair will become matted and it becomes uh it becomes very hard for the groomer to groom and most most likely i would have to shave the dog down 
Oh, uh, like remove which, most of the hair? Yes, remove the okay. majority of the hair, depends on how matted the dog is. Mm -hmm. In which, most times I have a detangler, in which this is a small detangler. Right. And I could use this, and what it does, it cuts through the mat. And um, while cutting through the mat, it gives me more leverage to use uh, a comb with um, space in it. So we can comb the hair up, and then oh, after okay. that, we can use an, another... Home with less space, which get all the mats. All out. the mats. Oh, yes. so it's it's a longer process. Exactly, it takes more time, longer time on one dog. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's best if you groom the dog every week. I mean every month, sorry. So you'll get um your dog all cleaned up real quick and back home in your arms. Okay, what is the average time it takes? A dog like like um this one here. Tori. Right? A dog like Tori here. Tori. Uh, that is well kept. How long does it normally take to go? An hour, forty five minutes. Mm. So a dog that is matted would run you into three hours. Wow. Like, and it depends on if they're behaving. And if you oh. when you are um combing their hair, have a tendency to hurt and mm -hmm. they will you will hear them squeal like you're doing something to them but it's just that the hair is matted have you ever been beaten by a dog while be, while grooming normal no i haven't but i reason being i always um muzzle the dogs mm -hmm. because you know we jamaicans prevention is better than better cure. than cure mm -hmm. yes yeah, so what i do Ooh, i normally cute. muzzle most of the ones, and it's mostly males, the male dogs, mm -hmm. they are the ones that always get you know, rowdy. Be right. So, look at her. I always um, muzzle those ones that come and they're um, giving problems. Mm -hmm. I mostly just muzzle those ones. My Chloe is well behaved. Very. She's cooperating, she man. She's a nice girl. You know, little girls that go to the hairdresser to get their hair combed. Comb. Don't behave as good a lot of the times. I know. All right. Tori's being a good girl. She have a bird somewhere here. All right. Tori's being a good girl today. Well, she's always a good girl. Always a good girl.